reacts. Testing, one, two, three, and we are live. What's up, guys? George the Cloud here. My name is Jorge, aka George. Welcome to the channel and welcome to my life. In this episode of George the Cloud Reacts, we are featuring Josh O, UBB24 World League producer. Welcome. Nothing left to prove. Man, I am already out of breath. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to work on my lungs or something because these titles are getting way too long. But here we are. Josh O, the shiny looper, in the wise words of Rithmind 2000. 20 or whenever he said that i'm not sure but um yeah i already checked out his regular uh loop station wildcard third place uh wow i just remembered if you guys want to check out the rest of the list um hit the uh hit up the playlist at the uh, end of the video top right where i have reacted to a bunch of loop station wildcards and also a few producer wildcards and that's what i'm trying to get to now um, all the other producer wildcards. So let me know which ones are left that I haven't seen so far. But for now, Josh, oh, let's get it. Get some popcorn, fill up your water, put your headphones on. On, on. And let's go. Hey everyone, this is Josh O from the United States. Hey Josh. And this is my producer wildcard for the Grand Beatbox Battle 2024. You didn't see this one coming, did you? No, not really. Uh, I didn't. Uh, uh, uh.
to prove Okay. Wow, this is so different. It's 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 Josh O style. How how else can I describe it? Um, but first things first, we skip this ad. God, these ads are getting out of hand. Um, we hit the like, subscribe, already subscribed. I'll have a link of the original video down in the description below. So this was a really like kind of like a lo-fi vibe you know what i mean it was it was jazzy but kind of like soft smooth uh it, it can barely like um sensible to the touch i don't know how to describe it it was just very chill and i wanted to close my eyes the entire time and kind of i was almost falling asleep uh, respectfully not you know because not because it was boring it was because it was that kind of energy that it was giving me kind of like relax buddy you know what i mean it wasn't hyping me up no crazy drops uh, nothing like that it was just a completely different feel from what we were used to seeing other wild cards uh and his voice i i still i'll say it again has one of the best voices in the loop station scene only a few i think can compare or are maybe slightly better like uh robin and saijo but aside from them it's like oof i could listen to josh show all day and you know what since the beginning it kind of gave me this feel of really old christmas songs that you would see in like animations right where it was at night it was like a faraway shot of a little house from above and it was dark at night, you saw the snow, and then the animation kind of zoomed in into one of the windows, and you got to see the living room of one of the characters uh, sitting next to the uh, campfire, very, very cozy, uh, sipping, you know, a cup of uh, hot chocolate or whatever it is, uh, with a cat, you know, sitting on the couch, and it was that kind of vibe for me. It was like a, a wintry animation from back in the day like the 50s or 60s um and i think his voice is so well suited to doing christmas covers i wonder if he has done any or if he wants to or if he knows he's so good but i would like to see uh christmas uh carols christmas songs being covered by Joshua. let me know if i'm the only one in the comments or what you guys think of that also, he has this style that is kind of theatrical, a little bit of uh, chorus in there because I, I'm pretty sure he sang in a, in a choir or like a choir feel, I, I meant to say. He is like uh, the queen of Loop Station. The queen as in the, the rock band queen, right? Freddie Mercury and the rest like that kind of energy i'm getting because he stands out in the way he he does his his structures uh implements the different sounds the timing the, his voice even his uh charisma is giving me like queen vibes i don't know i don't know if you guys no, actually just imagine joshua right now the way he looks with a mustache huh? and a uh, uh, beater a white beater mustache ready right there i'm giving you ideas man uh but yeah this was really cool let's go to the official rankings of the gbb24 producer wall cards number one slether number two chaos number three saijo number four mahito number five kba and i know Sa saijo's just in here for fun i wanted to to put him in here and this is based on my enjoyment right not what i think the judges are gonna pick just um who i would listen to over and over again in that order josh oh you know what brother right after side joe fourth place 
not bad. I mean, there's still so many to get to, but that's gonna that's gonna be it. So Joshua fourth place. Okay, and these are all super solid. Uh, it's it feels bad having KBA last, but they could they could all make it. I think. Let me know what your order of the um wild cards is so far, and which other ones I have to get to. But uh, for me, this is this is pretty solid. Um, I'm gonna check out Freedon and Antrix next for the wild cards. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Um, hit me up on Instagram at George the Cloud, and at the end, do a flip. Till the next. Thanks for watching.